Cayman. Recent thefts from tourists on Grand Cayman's beaches has some people worried about our island's reputation as a safe and beautiful vacation destination. As Tourism Minister Moses Kirkconnell said, such petty crimes strike at one of the core pillars of the Cayman Islands economy and cannot be tolerated. Compass readers agreed, calling for more police presence and stronger penalties for the petty thefts. David Miller wrote, I believe it is time for a police presence in all public beach areas, in shorts or swimming trunks with ATVs. How about marine patrols along Seven Mile Beach and North Sound 24 hours a day? We have so many police hired, but I see only two in Georgetown. Lukishi Brown agreed, writing, What the beaches need is a constant presence of police, uniform and plainclothes police. Crime continues to be a major problem here with easy solutions. K-Man just needs to commit financially to these problems. Ron Claire Ebanks wrote, I am happy to see that Mr. Kirkconnell sees that all the robberies on the beaches are bad for tourism, but I think he's not taking it seriously enough. I think he should have made a broader statement and said he's taking a zero tolerance policy on this issue and bring in special undercover cops and place them on the beaches. Within six months, Northward would be overflowing and the problem solved. Norman Linton wrote to say, none of this happens in Singapore, where they take a serious approach to criminal punishment. And L. Bell wrote, people who take valuables to any beach in the world and leave them unattended are lacking common sense. In fact, police are reminding beachgoers to safeguard their belongings by leaving them locked in their vehicle, making sure someone stays with valuables at all times, or taking them into the water by using a waterproof pouch. But as our editorial board wrote, it will take more than common sense measures to stop beach thefts. They cautioned, our beaches must be, and perceived to be, 100% safe, secure, and welcoming. Board members urge police, prosecutors, government, tourism associations, and everyday residents to work together to achieve that goal. I'm Compass Editorial Writer Jennifer Hemmingson. Thanks for watching Weekend Mail Call. Tell us what you think, and don't forget to pick up your daily paper, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and spend time with us online at caymancompass.com.